All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to uh, discover the rules for how to divide positives and negative numbers. And I said divide, and you might be wondering why the heck we're looking at all these four examples of multiplication. And that's because multiplication and division, hello, multiplication and division are opposites of each other. So we've, by now, we've already watched the videos on how to multiply negative numbers, so let's just review. Positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. That's, uh, signs are the same, the answer is positive. And over here, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. The signs are the same, the answer is positive. Positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. Um, so we remember all that sort of stuff. Now, remember back in the day, uh, several years ago, your teacher probably taught you that multiplication and division are opposites, and the way you check your multiplication problem is by dividing. Take the answer, which is called the product, divide by one of these numbers, and you should get the other number. In this case, it would we're going to do the same thing with negative numbers, <clears throat> and in this case, it would be 6 divided by ne uh, positive 3 equals positive 2, like this. Positive 6 divided by positive 3 equals positive 2. You got me? All right, so what would we do over here? Well, this is a positive 6. That's the answer, and so we're going to do positive 6 divided by negative 2 equals negative 3, right here. And then what are we going to do, uh, let's see, over here. So this is going to be negative 8 divided by negative 2 equals positive 4. And there's the sign right there. And the last one is negative 12 divided by positive 3 equal, equals negative 4. So without, without knowing a gall darn thing about how to divide negative numbers, we can just use logic and we can use what we already know about multiplication to create four examples of division. Now it's time to look for a pattern. So I'm going to remove the multiplication and let's just look at the division. Do you see a pattern? Do you see what's going on? I'm going to give away the answer so if you don't want me to uh, ruin your, your experience, go ahead and pause until you're ready to play the rest of the video, but I'm going to give the rest of the answer right now. Um, hey, look at this. Positive 6, positive 3, positive 2. Negative 8, negative 2, positive 4. What's going on here? Hmm. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Signs are the same. The answer is positive. Over here, signs are different. The answer is negative. So the, an the signs are different. Over here, the signs are different. And so the answer is negative. What does this sound like? Turns out, this is the exact same stinking rules. Where do I put it? Oh, let's put it right here. This is the exact same rules as the rules for multiplication. The rules for division are the same as the rules for multiplication. If the signs are the same with your division, the answer is going to be positive. If the signs are different that you're dividing, then the answer is going to be negative. Let's use one quick, quick, quick example. Let's say uh, we've got, uh, oh boy, uh, positive 18 divided by negative 3. What's the answer going to be? Well, the signs are different, so it's, the answer is going to be negative. Automatically, it's going to be negative. And 18 divided by 3 is 6, so the answer is negative 6. So th that's the rule for division, which is basically, if you know this, the rules for multiplication, then you know the rules for division because they're the same.